Good afternoon. Welcome to the Friday Show. I'm Rita Panahi and I've got two hours of news and views from a Labor government's harebrained censorship fantasies to Boris Johnson's burqa ban brouhaha to another example of the Prime Minister's poor judgment. We'll cover all the big local international news, but first to Victoria Police's inability to describe, let alone tackle, gang violence. Talk of a zero-tolerance approach from police command means little when dozens of out-of-control youths go on a wild rampage through suburban streets yelling, police can't touch us, while pelting rocks at the riot squad and damaging a police car, all without a single arrest. What happened in Taylor's Hill was not unique. We've seen it again and again in Victoria. Police watching on as wild, violent youth cause havoc and terrorise innocent people. At some point, police command need to stop playing politics and tying themselves in knots trying to redefine the word gangs and instead devote their efforts to policing. Call them what you want. Gangs, groups, mobs, squads, who cares? Just arrest them when they break the law before your eyes. The lack of arrests and downplaying of incidents convey nothing but weakness. It is demoralising for the brave men and women of the force working at the coalface. And for months now, much of the media, academia, political class and the usual Twitter brokens have gone out of their way to mock Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton for suggesting there are people in Melbourne too scared to go out at night. It's all well and good for those of us in the leafy suburbs untouched by regular street violence to pretend the problem doesn't exist. But ask residents living in areas affected and you'll get a very different response. A poll commissioned by Fairfax in two outer Melbourne suburbs earlier this year, no doubt to prove Dutton wrong, instead showed that people are, in fact, genuinely worried. Residents were asked, are you less likely to go out at night when you, than you were 12 months ago because of the threat of gang violence? The majority said yes. Indeed, only one in three in both suburbs said no. It's time that police command stood with law-abiding citizens and tackled gang violence without fear of offending the perpetually offended. We'll talk about this issue and get an update on Victorian Labor's efforts to play chief censor. But first, today's news headlines. 